I'm in doubt. I'm in doubt. So I have a few different examples here of uh, different flakes. That one over there is like a sliced up rope into coins. But it's the same principle that's going to happen um, to make it smokable in your pipe. You simply have to um, rub the tobacco down. I like to use the lid um, as a little tray, but it's good to get your own tray for uh, doing that sort of thing. Um, with the plug tobacco, it's uh, a little more complicated. You have to slice it into your own sort of uh, flake size pieces, then rub the bits down into uh, you know a little pile of uh, about the size of your ribbon or uh, just regular cut up flake tobacco. So that's the consistency we're going to go for and I'll show you a little bit of how that's done. So you've seen before Savinelli and uh, it comes in these nice big pieces. I found that most of the time one of these pieces is more than enough for your standard uh, bowl. Here is like that in a lot of ways. It's about the size of a stick of Wrigley gum. And um, you would do the same method that I'll show you towards the end um, to get this prepared and ready. Um, it It's hot pressed, so the nicotine and, and, you know, basic tar or gel or whatever that comes out of it binds it together. Another Mac Baron. You wouldn't be able to really tell them apart by sight, but you could tell the difference by smell. This is uh, the straight Latakia flake, or Latakia, depending on where you are from and how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, really, really high quality tobacco. And here's the ore lake. Um, the creepy guy on the front. And, um, this is starting to dry out a bit in the tin. I had kind of trouble getting it apart in a solid piece because it's getting dry. Um, I'm going to have to cellar it soon. But it comes in a piece like that. And, again, you can see the layers to it, the different uh, tobaccos that they used getting it pressed. here it just straight up looks like a brownie you can see the different layers to it so you'd slice a thin piece off you know so it's just like a piece of flake tobacco and then you can break it apart in that fashion this is a GLPs the Scudo and, as you can see, it's pressed into coins. Fairly easy to break apart, and I have found that it doesn't really stick together. Um, fairly dry, ready to go, but similar to the flake, you'll just kind of rub the pieces off till you get a pile. So I think today, for the demonstration, we're going to go with a bit of the Orlick. You can see I use the tin, the top of it right here. Have the tobacco, and I just kind of break it into separate pieces. That's got a bit of ribbon cut size to it. If you guys are uh, familiar with, say, Speakeasy, it's kind of a a thicker, thicker cut than your regular. You know what you'd picture just bag of tobacco looking like so I'll show you what I'm doing here you 
can go as fine as you want with it. Then after doing this, I just let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. And it's pretty much ready to go, but you can do it as long as you want. Alright, thanks for watching the show, guys. I think you know what to do taking it from there. And always, when in doubt, rub one out, right? I'm in doubt! I'm in doubt! <laughs>